Now, for everyone who fancies being a bit healthier in the new year, we showing a series of films all this week with some surprising advice. To launch us off the blocks, Dr. Phil Hammond has amazing news for anyone who spends hours sweating it out at the gym. You don't have to. <gasps> if you lead a busy life, finding the time to exercise can be difficult. But recent research suggests that exercising for just a few minutes each week can be as beneficial as jogging around the park for an hour or so. More gain for less pain. Sounds too good to be true, but is it? Professor Julian Baker from the University of the West of Scotland is at the forefront of this research. He's about to set me a challenge. OK, I'm ready. Three, two, one, and go. Fast as you can. This is a short burst high-intensity fitness regime. I run for 30 seconds flat out, then I rest for 30 seconds. I do this four times. 15 seconds to go. And go. Julian's research has found that by pushing my muscles to the limit, I can improve my fitness. One and stop. But what's incredible is this regime lasts for just four minutes, with only two of them spent exercising. Two, one, and stop. Excellent. Well done, Phil. Ah, oh, so good to stop. How often would I have to do this to improve my level of fitness? About three times a week, and depends on your initial fitness levels, how quickly you improve, really. The government guidelines at the moment is we should do between 30 minutes and an hour, five days a week of moderate exercise, you're saying this intense exercise is just as beneficial. The data we've got back from the initial pilot study suggests that this type of training improves above and beyond the benefits gained from exercise in 30 to 60 minutes. It sounds unlikely, so to prove his point, Julian and his team are setting Carla and Martin two very different training routines. They'll follow them for five weeks. First, their current fitness levels are measured, including blood pressure, body fat, and resting heart rate. Yep. Then they're tested on the treadmill. The fitter they are, the less oxygen they need. They both have a good basic level of fitness, so it's safe for them to try this training. Martin will follow Julian's regime, running flat out for 30 seconds, then resting for 30, four times. Carla will run at a moderate pace, non-stop for 20 minutes. So how was that for you, Carla? I found that fine, yes. I did find it difficult towards the end to keep maintaining that level. Martin, did you enjoy that as much as you looked as if you're enjoying it? Um, I wouldn't call it enjoyable, no, but um, it was a good workout. Julian, how can Martin, who's effectively only done two minutes exercise, get the same or better fitness benefits than Carla? Well, Martin is probably working about 250% harder than Carla in terms of the intensity of the exercise. The exercise for Carla is much more gentle on the muscles, whereas Martin is pushing his muscles to the max. And that has the maximum benefit on your maximum fitness? Maximum benefit on fitness. Scientists are still trying to find out why this training could work. But they know that exercising to the absolute limit is more effective at widening blood vessels, reducing blood pressure, and strengthening muscles. Our volunteers must carry out their different training regimes three times a week. It's obvious to me that Martin's got the best deal. But will the results show real benefits? We'll find out in five weeks. So, results today then? Yes, Carla and Martin are back to find out if their fitness levels have changed. They undergo the tests again. The results show that both Martin and Carla are fitter, but it's Martin's fitness that has improved the most. His body fat has decreased by a fifth. He's lost a stone in weight, and his overall fitness has increased by 50%. I feel great after the five weeks, I really do, I, I don't want it to stop. As far as the training goes, it's hard, but it's not as hard as Carla's. If you, wanted, if you asked me to do four minutes of hard work or 20 minutes of moderate work, four minutes of hard work every time. But if you haven't exercised recently, don't start running flat out like Martin. Build up from a gentle speed and see your GP if you have any concerns. All we're talking about is exercising for just 12 minutes a week. I think even I can find a window for that in my busy schedule.